fashion special for us guys. Are we really what we wear? Today's man, to cut a long story short, let's say a guy like me. I.e., an individual faced with an increasingly complex market, a study from the Institut Francais de la Mode polled 8,000 men based in the Northern Hemisphere to get a better grasp of the menswear market. New dynamic requirements quantifying and anticipating. Today, men have got freedom of choice. They're more confident. They trust their sensory reactions. At last, freed from centuries-old Descartian constraints. I'm extremely optimistic. Appearance is no longer enough. That's great news. The individual, materialism, hedonism, a desire to unleash our personalities. Men have a utilitarian, egocentric, pragmatic vision of their appearance. Today's man is a mix, such a mix that he's not altogether a man anymore. He wanders from one end of the scale to the other, from manly guy to girly guy, whizzing from one transformation to the next. To evaluate and understand your own transformation is a transmission process linked to education and fashion culture. The methods applied to marketing women's fashion don't work for menswear. The point is proven by the philosophical opus Men Under Construction. The dictates haven't really exploded. Don't expect a revolution. I think men have a vision of themselves and their appearance. They've come to see themselves as objects, more than used to be the case. Well-being, confidence, vitality, freewheeling, seduction. Social frontiers are less visible. A person's image is determined by their clothes and appearance. Yet at the same time, that image is more blurred, less clear-cut. It's harder to pinpoint what set they belong to. Geographical differences. In China, men are still seen as guardians of social harmony. In Asia and Latin countries, they're okay with their feminine edge. That's not the so-called Anglo-Saxon model. We're allowed to be feminine, and women are allowed to be a bit more masculine now. What do we really, really want? Not to be what we wear. Roman Cremer's utopian concept, the second skin, should be the second sex. The link with Simone de Beauvoir isn't that bad. She said he's the subject, he is the absolute, she is the other. In 2012, I think Simone de Beauvoir will say, she is the subject, she is the absolute, he is the other. The absolute trend, pushing the limits between skin and clothes, striking a balance between expansion and restraint, desire and yearning. <laughs> 